Hello everybody, I'm Mike Levin, and today we're going to take a look at the underpinning of all digital electronics, which is switches. In my last video, where I talked about the difference between electronics and digital electronics, I used the water pipe example for a switch, and it continues to be a good example. So up here you have water, water pressure coming perhaps from a water tower with the water wanting to flow down, but on its way to the ground, it encounters a switch or a valve. And so the water can collect up here, but it can't pass through until Someone who's standing here at the base presses down on the switch, which would allow it to raise up and let the water pass through. So the water that collects can flow through and emit on its way down to the ground when the person standing at the base presses on the lever. So this is a normally open switch, which is a little contrary to what it looks like because most people would draw a switch like this in electrical terms, which looks something like this. So it's not until you apply pressure on here, closing the switch, till it allows electricity to flow across there. So this is normally open until it's closed, allowing the flow. This is normally opened until it's closed, allowing the water to flow. There's other ways of drawing this, one of them being a power source, and once again ground, and electricity wants to flow from the power source to ground, but on its way, it takes a little detour into a substance that doesn't quite let the electricity flow through and continue on its way to the ground until such time as that person who's standing at the base applies some voltage allowing the electricity that has collected up here to be emitted out here so we draw this to show what direction the electricity is flowing. And we'll just circle that, producing the symbol for a transistor. Surprise, I bet you didn't know you were learning about transistors. So, the fundamental difference between the water pipe example and the transistor, aside from one being water and the other being electricity, is that this mechanism for the switch is, is mechanical. Whereas this mechanism right here is solid state. Now it didn't always used to be solid state. As computers were being developed, it started out with rods and pipes and gears, and then they moved on to relays, and then they moved on to vacuum tubes. All of these accomplishing the same switch trick. And then finally on transistors, which, is, which are just large examples of what goes into the modern day integrated circuit that you see inside of so much electronics today. Those little black surface mounted things with legs coming out like this that gets surface mounted onto a motherboard have inside of them these days 
millions of transistors, which are switches.